Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, straight from last night's live finale, winner of The Celebrity Apprentice, Lisa Gibbons is here, telling what it took for her to land on top. And runner-up Geraldo Rivera is also here, sounding off on why this was the most dramatic season ever. Plus, Wendy's breaking down all of today's super juicy hot topics. Now, here's Wendy! It's time for Hot Topics. <laughs> You're eating into hot topics. <laughs> Did you watch Celebrity Apprentice last night? Yeah. Great. So you came prepared. Well, the winner is Lisa Gibbons. Yes. As predicted by Vivica and as predicted by a lot of people here. I mean, I was on the fence. I thought Lisa might win, but you know, she was just a good player all the way to the end. Also, um, she's here and Geraldo's here. Um, he was the runner up. And they'll be out here later on in the show. Can't wait to talk. <laughs> Chloe, why did you clap back? That's all. You heard about Amber and Chloe and what, what all's going on? <laughs> well, okay, it all started when, hold on. Ugh. My teeth are so big, they absorb all the lipstick. <laughs> it all started when Amber slammed Kylie, who's Chloe's 17-year-old sister, for allegedly dating a 25-year-old grown man who's the rapper Tyga. Well, Chloe came to her little sister's defense. Um, first, Chloe called Amber out for being a stripper at 15. But Amber's never made a secret of that, you know? So that wasn't really a call out. Here's what she said. <laughs> You know, a call out is only something that you're embarrassed by. <laughs> Please don't worry about my sister who has a career and her bleak together at only 17. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Please stop talking about us in interviews, mama. <laughs> None of us talk about you. <laughs> I just wish Chloe hadn't said anything. Cause, and I like Amber and I, I, I don't stick up for Kardashians. You know my style, but I... <laughs> I I like to switch it up every once in a while just to, just to give you something new to think about. I like Amber a whole lot, but Amber does not have a career. She's got nothing to lose at this point. Amber, Amber you know, Chloe's career is being Chloe and that reality show and whatever career she has, it's more of a career than Amber has. And I feel like when people have nothing to lose, they're the most dangerous people of all. Do you understand? So now here, no, well, th that's just me. Thank you. <laughs> As opposed to clapping, it sounded like bacon. <laughs> okay, then Amber tweeted um, to Chloe, I'm happy you brought up the fact that I was a stripper at 15. I'll be that little whore to support my family like your older sister is a whore to support hers. <laughs> see, 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 see. So, so far, Amber wins, because Chloe, you shouldn't have said anything. Mind you, these tweets were going on all night. Norman was up all night. He woke up this morning, and the, and the tweets were still going on. He couldn't even keep up with them. 
All right, here's what Amber tweeted again. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Amber's got nothing to lose. You think because your dad was a professional football player? Oh. Chloe, oh. you know OJ. Oh. No, no, look, 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 look. You think because your dad was a professional football player that got away with murder, you're better than me, girl? Lesson of the day. Children, please don't try uh, mother, cause I will humble you. <laughs> the end. The end. I don't know what Amber's working on right now, but you know, whatever it is, it's a work in process. And I just feel, do you agree with me that Chloe shouldn't have said crap, right? Yeah, because Amber hurt your feelings real quick, Chloe. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure she did. And by the way, it is kind of sketchy that, um, and, wait, Amber's also friends with Black China, which is um, Tyga's baby's mother. Okay, Black China also used to strip. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> um, and so, I'm not gonna leave Tyga out of this. Tyga, all I'm saying is that you need to question uh, who you attract. Between strippers and underage girls, you're a mess. A mess. This show is so ratchet. <laughs> And by the way, I'm not on either one of these girls' side. I think that uh, Amber does make a point though, but the end. <laughs> so, did you hear about Lady Gaga? Yeah. He put a ring on it! So I'll catch you up to speed. His name is Taylor Kinney, and they've been dating for like three years. And his show, Chicago Fire, is in its third season. So he does have an acting career. It's not so big that it would overwhelm her. It's like, it's perfect, you know? Like I would pass him in the mall. <laughs> although, although I would turn around and do a double take. <laughs> he is, he is hot, right? Well, he popped the question on Valentine's Day and he gave her the most beautiful heart-shaped ring. Look at this. Oh. That's a nice, I wonder how big it is. It looks pretty big. <laughs> like if you're gonna have such a creative design, you kind of have, have size with it in order for it to make sense. And then it looks like, a, are you examining your ring? <laughs> oh, Suzanne. Oh, you do? It's tiny, though. Let me look. I, it was my grandmother's. It's Show really it on the camera. Small. Let's look at and, it. And I forgot I had one. Let, let's look at but it. it oh. And I was thinking I hate hearts, oh. and I, I forgot I wear one. Oh, now people are going to talk about the condition of your hands and your <laughs> fingernails. <laughs> How could you hate? Hearts. This is the most beautiful ring of all, and it, it looks like the diamonds go all the way around. Gorgeous. Congratulations to Gaga. People in our morning meeting were saying, well, Wendy, do you think that Gaga is the marrying type, and what kind of wedding will she have? I said, yeah, I think of Gaga as being that nut in the costumes on the stage. But I, but I think of the heart of Gaga as being Stephanie Germata, her mom and dad's daughter, who is a family girl. Remember when he was making um, food with Perez Hilton at, on the interview in the kitchen, and when she talked to, um, Oprah, she just seemed like a regular girl who probably wants to have a baby, get married. She probably eats cheesecake when she's upset like a lot of girls, <laughs> right? I don't want her to have a wedding though. They said, what kind of wedding is she going to have? I was like, every day is a wedding day. For She dresses like a wedding topper, so what? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I don't need a wedding from Lady Gaga. You know what I need? A justice of the peace. <laughs> and then, and it's a good time for Gaga to be getting married because her career is fledgling at this particular point. You didn't buy um, Pop Flop. And, and, you, and some, a lot of you bought the Tony Bennett thing, but that, that was the Tony side. Of, do you own the Tony Bennett Gaga collab? Clap if you do. Did you buy, did you buy Pop Flop? No. Got two people, yeah. <laughs> no, 
I know what's going on. I know that's your girl and you're defending her, but it's my duty when I sit in the chair to call it the way I see it. And the way I see it is, you know, Gaga, um, this is a great next move to her, in her life. She's only 28 years old. Doesn't she seem like she's been around forever? She also seems a lot older than that, like an older soul or some, or old, old, just older. And he's 33. And so, great, get married, concentrate on something else, tr work on your career, but it might be over. I'm not exactly sure. Um, <laughs> I'm just calling it the way you buy it. Not at all. That's it. I'm not gonna even give a big intro. It's time for Celebrity, Who You Doing? Hit it. Who You Doing? Not only don't I believe Nick Cannon is not taking Valentine's Day seriously at this particular time because he's not even divorced from his old you know, wife, and I know, and I know very few men, after they get a divorce, do they care about Valentine's Day. It's like just another day, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So the idea that Nick was spotted at 11 o'clock at night on Valentine's Day at the Tavern on the Green with, with dim lighting and Eddie Murphy and Michael Strahan's ex-girl Nicole Murphy. <laughs> Look, look, first of all, <laughs> first of all, he's got a type, older. Good for us. <laughs> She's a, uh, Nicole is a cougar at 47 years old with five kids, a divorce under her belt, a broken engagement after five years from Michael Strahan, so she's free. So she's free. <laughs> the problem is that when you, when you dangle a carrot in front of a girl on Valentine's Day, there are a lot of girls that get mixed messages. I'm assuming though that Nicole is probably like one of these cool chicks that she understands what it is. You know, I'm sure they do the horizontal mambo. <laughs> but, but he's not bringing her home to his parents. And, and I'm sure that she understands already, this is just a good time to be had by all. It's not a thing. Now, in my opinion, Mariah gets upset over whatever, cause she's older than Mariah. Like, Mariah's really caught up with age, you know? Like, she, to Mariah, if a girl is younger, that's the threat. So now what you gonna do, Mariah? She's older than you. <laughs> but, no, I'm not trying to start anything. I'm just saying that now that this one's older and you're equally as pretty as one another, fine. But Mariah, you need to get out there and get under something, something. Because, because. I mean, don't you feel like, like he's been running around town. I saw him and they were saying Nicole Scherzinger from the Pussycat Dolls. And then, you know, the, the whole Amber Rose thing, and you know, trotting her around town. Like, like Nick looks like he's getting it in. <laughs> And, you know, I never suggest to a woman to slut herself out. Just because you're out with a guy doesn't mean you're sleeping with him, but at least give the appearance of being juicy, Mariah. Like you, you and I'm not talking about a rapper or a football player, Mariah, or an NBA player. You know what you need? You need what Kamora Simmons has. That Lister mister that she's pregnant by right now that she married, oh, he's tall. We don't know him, we just know that he's worth billions of dollars. And he's, look, look, he's, the, he's the, like the vice president of Goldman Sachs Singapore. Bring up a picture to remind him. Can we bring up a picture? We don't have it? We're looking for one. All right. <laughs> anyway, I just feel like Mariah needs somebody mysterious. Not a rapper <laughs> or something. Um, anyway, good luck, Mariah. There he is. He's not the best looking man, but he will worship the ground she walks on. He will love her kooky quirkiness and she'll never have to worry about money again. Not that she does, but I'm just saying, you, you need you one of these, Mariah. and Future is still taking jabs at his ex-fiance slash mother of his son, Sierra. Aww. 
Remember, Sierra's got this new single, and it's called I Bet. And in it, she's talking about how she's upgraded Future. And we talked about, actually, actually Future lost the poll here on Hot Topics, because we talked about this um, a couple of months ago when I knew that this song was coming out. And I said, well, look, I knew who Future was on account of I live in a rap household. You know, my son, my, my husband. You know, I like a little zooga zooga too. <laughs> <laughs> So I knew who Future was before he got with Sierra, but he was a re he was like an underground. Per you did did you know who Future was before he got with Sierra? <laughs> Clap if now you only know Future because he got with Sierra. <laughs> and then you get turned on to the music, and then he's been a guest on our show. I like to try to introduce you to new things. Sometimes when you don't know something. <laughs> well now, Future. It, all right, so in the song, she's talking about. She upgraded, the lyrics are really good. Like, you need to listen to the lyrics. She's getting them good. <laughs> anyway, Future is responding by posting this picture with the caption, how you gonna upgrade an upgrader? Oh. Well, I must say, he does look very handsome there. <clears throat> um, what I don't like about this, I mean, you know, when celebrities get into this, it's good for our business, because, you know, I got an hour to fill here, <laughs> but, but it's not good, and we talk about this, for your children to eventually see that dad talks about mom like this, you know? I mean, at least when kids hear dissension in the house, they're supposed to hear it because they're being nosy with a glass to the wall. <laughs> they're not supposed to see it so obvious, you know, you know, on the internet. And I was asked in our morning meeting, why do you think people do stuff like that? Because they're high or drunk. <laughs> Like, like, honestly, like, and I don't know this for fact, but you know, what made Chloe get at Amber? What made Amber get at Chloe? What's making Future get at Sierra? And why do celebrities do the things they do? Oh, it's good for my business, but bad for you. Yeah. I don't, like, I don't get it. <clears throat> um, she thought that she could change him, though, Cece. That's where you went wrong, for, uh, wrong from the jump. You know, you are his fourth baby's mother with, with his kids. Like, what part of you did you think you could change? And we all think we have something special going on, girls. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it's not that special, or sometimes a guy wants more. It's like, you, you, you know, yes, she's flexible. She does the Matrix dance, but it wasn't <laughs> enough. It wasn't enough. She is so beautiful. I just wish that she'd drop the mic and pick up a contract to be a model, yeah. right? I just love her. How could you deny that? Beauty, right? Poor girl. How you doing, um, Sierra? And how you doing, Future? And you all behave. And this thing with uh, Rihanna and Leonardo DiCaprio. Are you ridiculous? Are you, are you seriously thinking that Mrs. DiCaprio wants her baby boy to bring the likes of Rihanna home? <laughs> and all I'm saying is because we, look, I think that Rihanna's a beautiful girl, but Rihanna's a whole lot of dangerous. She's the kind of girl that, you know, you, you might want to go out and you, you know, let her have the sex with you or you do her or whatever. <laughs> but she's not the one that you're bringing home for Thanksgiving dinner. Well, they were spotted over the weekend in New York City partying until 4 a.m. They tried to leave separately, but we caught them. <laughs> His weight fluctuates so much. Sometimes he's built like a 52-year-old middle-aged man, then other times, like right now, he's back to being snatched. And this down here, I would have pneumonia immediately. <laughs> immediately, like, wow. Amazing what she does for fashion. Beautiful girl, but this is not a keeper. Like, if your son brought Rihanna home, what would you say? <laughs> would you, oh, you, who, who would be happy with that clap? Nobody, exactly. It's so, and, and turns out I was correct. Allegedly, Mrs. DiCaprio is like, mm-mm. <laughs> Yep, I was reading the whole article. She, she, mm -mm. She, every time, because Le there she is, Mrs. D. Look, um, <laughs> 
every every time uh, at this point in his life, because he's in his 40s, he brings a girl home now, all Mrs. D thinks about is who's gonna make a good daughter-in-law and who's gonna make a good mother to my future grandchildren. And at this particular point, Rihanna, and there's nothing wrong with this, is having fun. Yeah. And so when you all see this on TMZ or, you, or Entertainment Tonight, just know that Wendy says, this is not a real relationship. They're hooking up until somebody gets pregnant. That, that's, when, that's when the mess gets real.